So now we will develop the slider. If you see this Disney application, it has a, this beautiful slider and it has a navigation as well. Okay. So we'll implement that one. And if you see on a hover, right, we'll get this beautiful border as well. So we will add that with the Tailwind CSS. So let's go back to our applications. So let's go back to our project. And here, go uh, create a new file in a component called slider.jsx and add the default template. Okay. After that, go to the app.jsx and make sure after header, you will add the slider as well. Okay. So here, after header, you will see the slider, whatever the slider we added. And if you go back to application, we will see the slider word, right? Perfect. Now go back slider and here first we will fetch the all the trending uh, movies okay so we already developed the api and uh, if you see right this is our api and we are from that api endpoint we will fetch the all the movie trending movie list okay so here we will use the inbuilt hook called use effect okay so this use effect will help you to execute uh, whenever we launch this particular component okay so if you passing this empty array right then it will execute once once your um, component get loaded if you did not pass any of this uh, empty or anything right then use effect will um, execute every time every second you can say okay and it will get executed so to avoid that avoid it you can just pass uh, the empty array if you want to execute this use effect uh, only when some uh, variable, uh, some component change, then you can pass this, uh, the value of the, that one. And whenever this value is changed, this use effect will get uh, executed. But for now, we will pass the empty array. Okay. Then create one uh, uh, method uh, called get trending movies. Okay. And uh, this is the arrow function. Okay. And here, in, we have this global API where we define the endpoint at this global API and then access the gate trending videos. Okay. After that, uh, just write then. Okay. And the response. Okay. So make sure you will access with the global API and this uh, gate trending videos, right? Which we added here. And then you have a method called then and to uh, arrow function to get the response. Make sure uh, you are getting the correct result. So write the response okay and in order to call this function right go to the use uh, uh, call this particular uh, method in use effect right so when whenever this slider component will get load this get trending movie get uh, called okay now let's go back to the application okay and when if i load this application right and just ignore this above part and if you see we are getting data so in this data we have the config and data where all our fetch data is uh, you will find it here okay so right now uh, in the results right we have all the list of movies so we, right now we are getting the 20 top 20 trending movies okay so in order to access these results right just go here and type response dot uh, data and inside that we want the results only right and if you go back here now if, if you see right we get only 20 uh, movies okay and nothing else so in order to store this right we want to uh, put it in some state right so define one uh, variable um, and with the help of use state so i will define movie list okay and in order to set it i will write set movie list and this is the use state okay so right now i will pass the empty array and now in order to set this movie list just set it here and whatever response or data result we will set it to the movie list okay i will remove the i will keep it as, as it is to refer this field name and everything okay now in our movie list we have all this uh, movie list which we fetch right now let's implement and show it on the screen so here i will define image source first okay so sorry uh, first uh, we want to iterate this movie list right so i will define this movie list okay dot map and uh, here i will define the item i will also define the index okay and then the arrow function so here i will define the image source okay and inside that right we want to define the 
this backdrop path okay so this is nothing but if you see this is extension jpg this is nothing but the image that we want to show it right but this is not a complete part this is just a, a file name correct so uh, our our uh, tmdb database uh, that which uh, which we are using it already has uh, a one endpoint in order to access the uh, complete image url right so i will just copy it for now and i will paste it here if you see right i created one constant called image base url and this is the base url okay so uh, and after that we will attach this file name so you can write like this uh, image base url plus you want to show item dot and the field name which is the backdrop path so paste like this okay and give some class name uh, it means we will give the some width and height so here in this case right i will give uh, i will give the width so let's say minimum we want to show minimum width to be full screen okay and the uh, height i will give the 310 pixel okay so i give the custom height so that i need to write in a square bracket okay and save it so here uh, instead of this uh, curly braces right we want to and uh, add this uh, circular bracket right and if you go back to the app application now you will see this list of all the movies right now i will do the object cover first so do the object cover okay and save it now you will see the perfect uh, image okay now it's coming uh, horizontally uh, sorry vertically and we want it uh, horizontally right so to this uh, div right just add the class name have to be flex okay and save it and if you see now it coming horizontally right but you can't able to scroll it right just uh, so here you just mention the overflow x at all okay so if you hover on this so it will this is the css property overflow x auto okay and if you go back now you can able to scroll it okay perfect now if you see that our image is getting cut uh, uh, the top section is getting uh, cut it right so you can just say after object cover you can say object object left crop right so left top so the top section you will see this top section now you will see okay and then uh, you can add some margin and padding so uh, in this case i will first give the margin to right okay so you will get some margin you will not able to see here but i am giving margin and here let's give it full and then um, i will give padding x axis okay to 16 and on padding y i will give 4 okay and save it now you will see the change right it's coming like this okay now let me add some uh, rounded corner so i will add rounded corner to be large maybe i will add this medium only okay and if you see it's working perfectly fine okay now i don't want this uh, scroll bar if you see this navigation it don't have scroll bar but instead that we have the buttons right so just type a uh, tailwind css um, no scroll bar npm right you will see this uh, npm library so just copy this one and paste it in your terminal okay i already install it so just go here and paste it and execute this one okay once you do uh, did it right uh, if you see this documentation so in tailwind.config.js file uh, you have to add this plugin okay so go to your tailwind.config.js file and make sure in the plugin section you will add this particular uh, line okay now uh, let's go back to our page which is our uh, slider and inside this one Uh, you just need to write uh, scroll bar none. Okay, if you go uh, to this one, right, we'll see how to use this one. So you just write to scroll bar none, and for this div, I will define scroll bar as a none. Okay, and if you save it, let's go back here. If you see, you don't see any more, right? Right now you can't scroll, but with the help of keyboard arrow, you can able to scroll it. Okay, perfect. Now the next thing that we want, right, uh, to add these buttons. okay so uh, i will use this hero icon again and if you see right i will use this hi h uh, share on left and right right so 
just copy that one i already have okay so let me copy this one okay so left one and i will add it um, just before this one so i will wrap with one more div i will paste it here and if you see error right you will see this error because this return item should be in one uh, html tag so that's the reason we have to define like this okay and same i will do the for right okay and uh, make sure you will add it so i will import it is right if you see i imported that uh, two icons okay and if i save and if you go back here uh, you will see this icon at the corner right it's not visible right now but let's uh, give some styling so style it i will say text to be uh, oh sorry so it need to be a class name and this need to be a double curl double bracket okay like this and uh, here i give the text to be white okay so it will it will be uh, more visible okay and now let's give some styling so first i will add the text size to be 30 pixel and then i will make it absolute because i want this particular one right over uh, on the image so that's the reason i give the position to be uh, absolute and then uh, let's give some margin x on x x8 uh, and uh, if you see this is how it looks for now right and let's give some margin top to be um, 150 pixel okay and if you see now it's coming in the center right now how i decided 150 pixel if you see uh, the height of height of our image is 310 right so uh, depends on that one i added this uh, margin from the top okay so same thing you have to apply for the right one as well but i will also add the cursor pointer and save it now same thing i will add it here and paste it but in this case right we want this on the right hand side so just type right to be zero because we added the position to be absolute okay and if i save it you will see this both the icons okay right now uh, it will not work because we did not add anything right now uh, one more thing right if i decrease the screen size right if i decrease the screen size i don't want this uh, navigation bar anymore because uh, with the help of mobile view right i can easily navigate it so in order to avoid that right uh, first when the screen is smaller you can just hide it okay and when screen is uh, medium or larger you can show it or you can say okay just show as a block okay display as a block uh, sorry uh, so we have to paste it uh, this both this line for this uh, icon as well and then save it now if you go back here i will decrease the screen size and if you see right right now it's medium but as soon as i touch the uh, small screen size it will it will be uh, invisible right and if you select the mobile view right let me refresh it you will see this uh, image right and it's vertical right now we don't want that one right so for the image as well uh, just give this height when the screen size is medium otherwise you don't need to give any size and if you see now you will see this right perfect okay and when i increase the screen size you will see this and also we will get the navigation uh, arrow as well now add the click events to the navigation slider so on the click of right or left the slider will navigate okay so first uh, just give the first use the one inbuilt hook again the react inbuilt hook okay so define one constant and i will write element reference which is equal to use reference okay so what it will do it will refer to the element right and it will give the access to that html elements so only thing you need to do here uh, to write the reference here okay so just write reference which is equal to element reference okay now you can access this element you have control on that one that's the reason we give the element reference right and now here you can define on click method but before that we will define two uh, function so constant slider uh, right okay which is equal to element so we will pass the element and then uh, the some uh, operation we can do here so here i can write element dot scroll here in this case we want to scroll 
left and then on the left we will add the value plus is equal to right so in this case we will add for example 800 okay and same thing you have to copy for the left scroll okay so you can say left but here now we will do the minus okay so this is very uh, important to understand how it works okay and now here you can define the on click method okay and uh, so define the function and on the because you have to define this one very carefully otherwise it will execute uh, every time if you define like this uh, for example if i define like this okay it will get executed multiple times okay uh, it's infinite time it will ex uh, get executed so to avoid that you have to write arrow function like this okay so here i will write oh sidle left right this is a left arrow and then i will again copy this for our right arrow so i will just write right and here you have to pass the element reference okay dot current so current element so whatever the current uh, value for the slider is showing on the screen for that one uh, we are passing to this element okay now if i save it go back to our application if i click on it you will see it's, it's getting um, changed right and if you see like this but it's very fast uh, we want smooth animation right so go back to our um, code and here you can define uh, scroll to be a smooth so just write scroll be smooth right and if i save it go back to our application if i see now you can able to scroll it smoothly correct but you will see if you see right uh, you're getting both the image at one right and we don't want that one if you see here at once you will see this right so uh, the only thing here we have to do to uh, depends on the dimension of the screen uh, we will provide this value okay so define one constant and just uh, write i diamond width screen width okay and i will define like window dot and you can define the dimension here so it, it provides a lot of different uh, properties so i want inner width okay so inner width nothing but the screen uh, the width of this screen okay and now let's take the screen width and define here okay now depends on the plus minus we'll define screen width and also uh, we already give the padding on the both the uh, x-axis right so i will remove that one here and same with this one okay and then save it now if you go back here refresh the apl application if i click next we'll see only whole image get changed you see right beautifully and that's what we wanted and it worked for the uh, left uh, navigation or the right navigation perfectly okay now the last thing we remaining is on a hover right we'll give this border correct so go to the image on uh, here we will define on hover we want to give the border so just give the border uh, of uh, width 4 pixels so custom width i give okay and also give the border of gray color okay so gray and we will get a lot of options so you can select either or any of them so right now i select 400 and then save it and if you see i can be able to get border but it's very instant right there is no animation so you can just write transition all to give the smooth animation and the duration as well so in this case i will give 100 and the animation type which is is in out okay so if you see perfect so you can just give is in and let's see how it looks look right if you go back here you'll see and same way we did it okay perfect so i hope you understand this particular section uh, to add the slider uh, similar to a disney application okay uh, if you have any doubt any questions just comment uh, in the comment section or you can directly message me on my instagram channel which is at the rate to gurji and uh, if you did not subscribe to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and uh, in next uh, video uh, we will uh, add this beautiful category and if you see that beautiful animation on the background the video is playing on the background on the hover so that particular uh, uh, styling we will add uh, in our next video okay so please watch the next video as well